friends and welcome back. Welcome to Venice Sports Shack and welcome back to another episode of Wing It Wednesday. Today we're just going to try to figure out if it's me or if shit's really weird. So as always stand up, stretch out, because away we go. All right guys today we're going to be talking about why the hobby doesn't grow because of the weird shit in the hobby. But first, that's right, first, contest. Paul, stupid contest for August. I got two ranch packs, 1984. One has George Brett on the front, and the other one has Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench, George Brett. If you're interested in two 1984 rack packs for the month of August, comment down below, one to 100. If you're getting those out at the end of August. July's has been sent out, so sir, you should be getting yours over the next few weeks by the beginning of uh, next week. So I appreciate everybody joining the contest. Uh, and remember, if you uh, enjoy the contest, want to support the channel, remember smash the like button, subscribe if you have it. But to today's topic, the shit weird in the hobby. I'm just going to talk about personal things that's happened to me since I uh, have started this YouTube channel. Now. I bring this up because I'm always encouraging everybody to start a YouTube channel. Start, you know, expressing their love for the hobby, uh, networking, um, getting out there and doing your thing, hitting shows, uh, really building the, the love for this hobby. Grab somebody, bring them with you. But I got to give you some warnings. There's some weird people out here. Weird. Now, we all know last month that I was getting calls from some gentleman that didn't didn't agree with me now a lot of times people think that I am talking directly to them guys I'm just talking in general there's no need to call me now the sports car card hobby isn't going to grow when the normal people the average and the above average people look into this hobby and see weird stuff like that going on knowing that if they join a hobby and make an opinion or a statement that some psycho is going to call them for a month do you think anyone's going to get into a hobby like that i don't think so more weird things now i know this is easy and this is low-hanging fruit but i watched sports card dad i told him i'd resubscribe and start watching them he did a video the other day about what he thought was cringe and he said that he thought the most cringiest moment was mojo standing out there shaking hands which i don't know if you know guys mojo is sponsored by these people he's supposed to be there he was probably told to greet people coming in and as stupid as that was and in the way he was probably told to do that but what i thought was weird and cringy but back in the 80s i was born in the 70s and 80s we just called this shit weird was dustin was doing his from his bed laying down in his bed with no blanket on i know just weird now i know a lot of you call that cringe let me take a step back dustin i met dustin in real life totally different person than what you what he projects it's weird to me I see him on the the off center with Neil on them, the way he talks and communicates. Different than his sports card channel. So I don't know if he's trying to project some persona. Uh, I know he mentioned, well, I was just showing you how much effort I put into my. No! That's cringe. That's what we called weird. Now, I don't know how to explain it, except this way. What I think's weird. When you're a little kid, and you go to the drugstore or the grocery store and you pull that piece of candy and you put it in your pocket and you're walking out and you get that weird feeling just that you just know you just know shit's weird it's not right you can't explain it any better than that which brings me to we got the new guys on the block the sports card madness talk about weird this list breeder he uh this is just my opinion. It appears that they're paying for promotions so they can get into the feed, get more and more views. 
I mentioned these guys like four, five, six months ago. He had an 86 clear set, all autographed. Thought it was cool. But, hardly had any viewers. Like a hundred, 150. This is just a few months ago. Then all of a sudden, start appearing in people's feeds. Boom, 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 boom. So I made a statement. You know, he started to be obvious. Oh, all organic. All. So I made a statement on one of his things. Hey, quit paying for promotions because it's going to hurt your channel in the long run. And the reason I say that is because when you check out his videos, they have like 3,000 views and two comments and four likes. So that's kind of weird, and that's what hurts your channel and the algorithm. So I just commented on his page, or his YouTube channel. Within 30 seconds of me making that comment, my personal phone starts blowing up. Bam, 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 bam. Message after message from this list breeder. I couldn't believe it. The stuff he was saying and just hyper. Guys, that shit's weird. This gentleman was telling me how great his channel was. How they're going to be the 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. How they're going to be 100 subscribers by the end of the year. That he's the best sports card channel there is. Guys, like I said, I'm from the 80s. That shit's weird. To go off on someone you don't even know for making a simple comment, just telling you, hey, you probably should stop because it's going to ruin your channel, and then to flip out. Any average person getting to the hobby and sees these freaking weirdos aren't going to stay in. Like I said, if you don't have that thing inside of you to see cringe, to see weird. Now, I'm gonna let you know, Sports Card Madness, you're just like that professor sports card. Weird. People aren't watching you unless you're paying for your thing to go in the feed. And you can tell by the interaction. I try to explain that to people. You can tell if people are paying for their feed to go up because of their interaction on the back end. And they don't seem to realize it and to me, that's weird. So let me know, guys. Is it me? Or do is this weird shit really affecting the hobby? It's getting thrown into your feed. And anyone that does sports cards, what they're getting fed is Jeff Wilson, sports card investing, or Ryan, card collector too, which he's trying. Guys, yeah, trying to take acting lessons or something. He's trying. That's a national. He's one of the only free, few people giving away free stuff out of his own pocket. So the guy is trying, but that's their first. And Ryan, keep going. But that's their first taste of this hobby. And then they get into it, into the weeds, and then you start getting these weirdos that call you, that chase you down, that flip out when you make a simple statement or in cringe and wear their underwear and lay in bed and talk about sports cards. Guys, like I said, maybe Let's it's just me, now. but comment down below and tell me what you think. Peace. Have a super great day. And why do you really come here? Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know what today seems kinda odd. No walking from the door, no smoke. And mama cooked the breakfast with no dog. I got my girl on, but didn't dig out. Finally got a call from a girl I wanna dig out. Hooked it up but later as I hit the door, thinking will I live another 24? I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. And if I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. Had to stop at a red light, looking in my mirror, not a jack. And everything is alright. I got a beat from Kim, and she can do it all night. Call up the homies and I'm asking y'all, which part are y'all playing basketball? Get me on the court and I'm trouble. Last week messed around and got a triple double. Freaking brothers every way like MJ. I can't believe today is a good day.